Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. Now, you might know McDonald's might be the most iconic restaurant of all time. There are just so many locations and it's been a very important part to many people's childhood. It's just very iconic. You remember the menu and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be ranking the items from the McDonald's menu on a tier list. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Let me know what your favorite products are, least favorite. And without any further ado, let's hop right into the tier list. Alrighty, so to start off, it looks like we have bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I feel like it's been a while since I've had this, but I've definitely had it. I'll probably put that in the B tier. It's a solid item, I would say. Then we have just a plain egg muffin. I don't believe I've had that. As a matter of fact, the only like sausage muffin I think I've had is just the regular McGriddle, which is actually going to go in the A tier. Now all these fancy breakfasts with pancakes, I've not really had those. I don't usually go to fine dining in a McDonald's restaurant for breakfast. As for the sausage burrito, I feel like I've had at least part of this before one time. I'll probably just put it in the C tier. I mean, it's all right. Like, it's fine. Hash browns, though, they're going in the S tier, okay? The, this is like peak breakfast food right here. McDonald's hash browns. All right, then it just looks like we have a plain bowl of fruit salad. I don't know who's getting that from McDonald's. But now we are past breakfast. We are moving on to the normal foods. Now, to start off with the Big Mac, that is going in the S tier. That might be the greatest, like, cheeseburger of all time. The combination of Two patties, three pieces of bread, some cheese, some lettuce, and just the amazing Thousand Island sauce. It is so scrum diddly dumptious. It'll get a little bit messy, but it's worth it. Then we have a quarter pounder with cheese. That is going into the A tier. Quarter pounder is honestly the size most burgers should be. These days, there just really aren't that many thick burgers. That's honestly what a normal size burger should be, in my opinion. Even if they're, like, wider, they're just not thick enough, if you know what I mean. I've never actually had the double quarter pounder, but that would probably be amazing. Then we are on the make a double. I'll probably put it in the B tier. I would prefer getting a quarter pounder, but, you know, it is what it is. It's more meat, so definitely better than just the regular thin cheeseburger. Speaking of that, here is the regular thin cheeseburger. I'll probably put it in the C tier. It's fine. It has good flavors, but you want to get like a quarter pounder, at least a McDouble, not just that little thin piece of meat. Oh, then we have a double cheeseburger, actually. I guess this has one more piece of cheese than the McDouble. I'll put it in the B tier, I guess, with it. A little bit better, I guess. More cheese is good. Oh, and then we have a cheeseburger or a hamburger, sorry, with Without cheese, I don't even realize that's a thing. I guess I'll put that in the C tier. Then we have a McCrispy. Uh, this is their more like fancier sandwiches, kind of like uh, Chick-fil-A. Maybe not quite that style. I think Chick-fil-A might have the best sandwiches, although not a huge fan of their nuggets. But overall, I think this should be about right. I will put it in the A tier. I've never had the Deluxe McCrispy, but I don't think you really need all that stuff on a chicken sandwiches. I'm fine with just the pickles and sauce. Spicy McCrispy. That's actually pretty amazing. I'll put that in the A tier as well. I might even lower this to the B tier so that it shows the significance of the Spicy McCrispy. Never had the deluxe one. filet fish I've had, like, the double filet fish That's the one that you would probably want, and that's not even on this list. I have no clue why, because that's probably better. But let's just pretend this is the double filet fish It's going in the A tier. It's actually not bad. I like the uh, sauce, and pretty much the restaurant focuses more on burgers and chicken, so it is nice that they have some more uh, meat of a different kind. And then we have the regular McChicken. I liked it a lot when I was pretty young, but there's no point in getting it over like a uh, McCrispy. So this is really more for just younger children. I'm not going to put it very high. Then we have the fries. This might be the most iconic McDonald's item that people just love to love. I will put these in the S tier for sure. They are some top tier french fries out of all the restaurants in the world. Then we have apple slices, and it feels weird putting it above a bunch of stuff, but if we're just judging it by the quality of apple slice standards, of course it's going to go in the A tier. Then we have the apple fritter. I believe I've had this before. It's probably all right. I'll put it in the A tier. Not so sure that I've ever had these blueberry muffins or cinnamon rolls. I'm not really a big breakfast guy when it comes to fast food restaurants. But here we have the McFlurries. Now these are pretty amazing. So I, I will put the McFlurries in the A tier. 
some top tier desserts oreo or m and m you can't go wrong either way ice cream cone I'll probably put in the B tier. I mean, as long as the machine's working, because that's the joke, although I do think that is kind of a stereotype that's not really as big of a deal as people make it out to be. But it does taste good. I do like myself some ice cream. Now, as for this fancy, like, coffee and ice cream, whatever this stuff is, I'm, I'm not, I don't really try that stuff out. I've never had the baked apple pie, but that does look good. As for the chocolate chip cookies from McDonald's, as long as they're warm, they are 100% an A-tier item. And then chicken nuggets. I would go as far to say that McDonald's has the world's best chicken nuggets out of any fast food restaurant. And just in general, because obviously microwave chicken nuggets aren't going to be great. So yes, I would say McDonald's has the best chicken nuggets in the world. So they deserve to go into the S-tier. Now the only thing this list didn't have that I was a little disappointed was the McRib. Now obviously that's a limited time offer so I understand why it's not on this list. But that would 100% go in the S tier. Love the McRib. And the Shamrock Shake is also a limited time thing that comes like every year. So that would probably go in like the A tier. I've never tried the Grimace Shake though and it is too late for that but... That was definitely a pretty big deal last year. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What is your favorite, least favorite McDonald's item? As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.